On this Two Cent Tuesday, we are talking tires. On this Two Cent Tuesday, I wanted to take you through the process of us getting new tires on our camper. We bought this in 2018 and it still has the original tires from when we purchased it. They are the Westlake tires, which if you read on Facebook, it is all over the place that they're horrible tires. We have experienced totally different than that. Like we have gone, I'll have to add up and figure out how many miles we've went, but we have gone to Colorado and back. We've gone to North Carolina. We have gone to Destin. We have gone like all over the place and we've never had a problem with the tires and they're actually still in really good condition. They're not worn at all, but we decided that we felt like it was time to purchase some new ones. And I wanted to take you along in this process of what happens and what we decided and what we do to get new tires. And we have a local tire place that we trust completely. And I'm gonna go there now and get their opinion on what we need to order. Now, the first thing that I did was take a picture of what size they are so that I could take it to them to make sure that we get the same size. Let's head up there. So you're saying a 10 ply or a 14 ply? Mm -hmm. So you think a 14 ply would be better? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, yeah, if you say that's what, you know, I totally, say. like whatever y'all yeah. say. I, don't, I just want to make sure they're good because we're yes. headed out of, you know, we travel a lot and you just see, like I said, you see so many people having problems with absolutely tires and stuff, so. They've got a good tire, and this is actually what we use on ours as well. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's called a Samson. It's a 14 ply. We have a guy that hot shots that does a lot of driving. Uh -huh. He drives to California, Texas, and all that all the time. We get like 197,000 miles on these trailer tires. Oh my gosh. Yes. Like they are insane. Awesome. So they do, they really are amazing. All right. Well, I uh, just ordered our tires. It will be a week and a half before we can actually bring the camper up there to get the new tires come, new tires put on. We ended up going with 14 ply tires, and uh, well, I let you hear the conversation that that was their recommendation, and I really think that you should listen to the tire people on recommendations because they do it all the time and we really trust the person that does our tires well i will update you once we get the tires on and talk about a little bit of a few more things on this video you're not going anywhere <laughs> you're ready though aren't you We got our new tires. We'll be ready in a few weeks to head to Hilton Head in our RV. And I'm excited about it. But I wanted to take this time to kind of talk to you about tires and maybe kind of some tips and tricks that I learned during this process. Just because this is one of the most expensive purchases you can do on your RV and important because tires are very important because one blowout and it can mess up the side of your RV. It can do a lot of damage to your RV. The first thing is how to know when you need to get new tires. Sometimes this could be obvious. The tire keeps going flat and you keep having to fill it back up. Another reason is because the tread on the tires have worn down and maybe wore uneven and then you may need to get new tires at that point. Some of the things that you might not notice is cracking of the sidewalls. That can be a reason for you to get new tires, but sometimes you might not see it. You may need to take into account the age of the tires. Sometimes you may not have that many miles on them, but they may have a lot of age on them and they can become dry rotted. Now, one thing that I learned, you can take the DOT number on the side of the tire 
This is a, it starts with DOT and it either has a three or a four digit number after that. The last two digits of that will be the year of your tire. So if you have bought an RV that's second hand and you don't know the age of the tires, you can look at that number and tell what year the tires are. And the first two number, the first one or two numbers is the week of that year that the tire was made. So if the number says 2018, then the 20 weeks, it was the 20th week of 2018 that that tire was made. And they typically say anything over five years you want to replace. And this is just research that I've done and you may want to research some more stuff yourself. This is just what I have read from the internet. Things that you want to think about when buying new tires is RV tires are expensive and you are hauling a very heavy item. So you do not want to skimp on your tires. There's things that you might want to buy inexpensive items on, but your tires, you want to make sure that you get something that is good. I'm not saying that you have to spend a ton of money, but you want something that is good. You don't want a cheap pair of tires to hold up your heavy rig. So you want to make sure that your tires are for the weight rating of your camper as well. The biggest thing for us is we trusted the person that we use for our tires. These people have been doing tires for us for many, many years. So anything they tell us, I trust that they're going to put me in the right direction. They have never steered me wrong. We ended up going with the Samson and a 14 ply because the people that we use said that this would be the best tire that we could get. And so that's what we went with. So you may want to research and go with something different. They gave us two options and this was the better of the two options. I hope this video has helped you maybe make a decision on buying tires. Till next time, like and subscribe.